Good morning, my name is Malik Padgett and you're tuned in for another edition of the Morning Motivational Moment. So my good friends, it's been a while since we talked, but it's okay because we're never far apart. We're always kindred spirits, alike in mindsets, no matter where we are in the world. But thank you for joining me on this special place we call the Virtual Sofa. It's a unique experience where you can just let your hair down, be yourself and just keep it real. Literally, just keep it real. Join the sofa. Tell your friends all about this place. I'm Malik Padgett, and it's a place where we share concepts around spirituality, around belief systems, around, you know, I guess, a little politics. But politics really don't have much to, to do with the spiritual world because the spiritual world is a unique place where you and I can go and we can just connect with our creator, uh, whether you call it the creator source, God, friend, father, comrade, whatever you call the source, you know what that title means to you because it's not so much about the title, it's about the purposeful relationship, the relationship that you share with your creator that no one else can determine how you share that thing. There is no standard on how you have the relationship with your creator. There's no book of rules that tells you how to have a a relationship with, with your creator. It's just like a parent. No one can dictate to you how to have a relationship with your parent. That's between you and your parent. Well, it's the same with your creator. It's about the intentions of the heart. Once your intentions of the heart are lined up with the spiritual essence of who you are, when you connect with your creator, it's a very impactful, personal moment. So thank you for joining me again. And on this sofa, we just really connect around things that are relatable fifth dimension at times because we realize we're human beings but we're having a human experience because we're spiritual beings having a human experience once we realize that we're spiritual beings having a very unique human experience there's nothing that can limit us we become limitless we're not limited by time and space because when we tap into the spiritual realm we're able to do or go anywhere that we want to go Because the spiritual world is just that limitless. Our physical bodies have limits, but your spiritual has none. So good morning to you. How are you feeling today? How has your life been impacted by recent news, recent horrible news that's been going on around the world? Are you connecting spiritually, my good friends? It's so important that you connect spiritually. And the reason why I say it's so important to connect spiritually because that's a place where you can go as long as you keep your inward sanctuary. That is the innermost essence of who you are. You keep it pure and clean because your heart and hands must stay clean. If you contaminate that area, it's going to be hard to go in. So if there's any cleansing that you have to do, stop everything that you're doing right now and ask your creator to cleanse you. Ask for an abundance of light and love because light shines on dark places and it cleanses darkness and love heals delivers and sets free love is liberating love will liberate you and it will liberate the people around you and if you love someone and you just cannot seem to make ends or not even ends meet but make souls connect then liberate them by loving them and set them free let them go just let them go set easy it's that easy although it seems hard trust me it's not as hard as it seems It's really that easy. Let them go. Now, everything does have timing. I'm not unsympathetic or lack empathy. I know everything takes time. But in due time, let them go. Liberate them and set them free. How is your families? How are you connecting? How is the job? How are relationships? How are all those things in your life at this moment? I don't have anything special to say. It's just nice connecting with you once again. Been so busy. And you know how life can be busy, but I'm never too busy to tap into the spiritual realm and seek my help and my resources because the energy that I seek and and, and, and and, and that I I almost like withdraw from the spiritual resources that I have keeps me sustained when all else around me seems that it could be chaotic. I can't control other people. I can't control other people's situation, other people's destiny, but one thing I can control is me. And that is through my ability to tap into the spiritual realm and ask the creator to give me the power that I need. Light, I like to say I'm like a solar panel. I absorb light so that I can be solar power to give the light back. 
Tap in, my good friends. Let the spirituality of your soul cleanse you, heal you, and set you free. Be set free. Be set free. Be cleansed, be healed. Ask for an abundance of light and love. Because light restores, it restores, it restores. It, it illuminates darkness, it shines in dark places so that we can be free. And then allow love to come in. Allow love to liberate. Allow love to heal you. Allow love to set you free. Talk to your angels. They're there for you. Talk to your angels today. Tell your angels exactly what you need. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't be alarmed. Just do it. Talk to your spirit guides. They're assigned to you from birth. They're trying to send messages sometimes. We don't pay attention. Tune in by meditating. Tap into your spiritual guides and thank the ancestors because they paved these roads they've been here already they're here watching over us so yeah i do believe in the ancestors i believe in spiritual guides and i do believe in the resources of the angels thank you angels for being here for me thank you for loving me angels my spiritual guides my ancestors thank you thank you thank you when you understand that you're fifth dimensional you are not easily succumb to the things of the reality of this world See, because in the reality of the world, you have to, uh, you have to, oh, how do I say this? You just, sometimes you can be overwhelmed and it feels like there's nothing you can do. But when you understand that you're fifth dimensional, you're just a spirit, you're a spiritual being just having a human experience. Then you realize that you can go beyond the spiritual energy that seems to, se seems to be so overwhelming at times. Just tap in, my good friends, my lovelies, tap in. I love you all. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for thinking about me. And remember... No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that would rise up against you, condemn it. Let the universe condemn it on your behalf. Keep your hands clean. Keep your heart clean. And know that when you keep your hands and heart clean and you're full of light and love, you can tap into the innermost sanctuary inside of you and get everything that you need. Because remember, you're not searching outward for anything. Everything you ever needed or wanted was already instilled in you. You came factory equipped from the universe, already ready to go. I love you, my dear friends. The website is themorningmotivationalmoment.com. Themorningmotivationalmoment, all one word, dot com. Go to the website. Go to the Contact Us section. Tell us what you're thinking. Go to the Contact Us section. Let us know what you're thinking. Leave your name, your phone number if you'd like. If you have any suggestions or critiques, please leave them as well. They're always great to have as well. And I really look forward to hearing from you. I appreciate you. If you want to call me, my number is 305-209-8150, 305-209-8150. Remember, light and love surrounds you, keeps you, protects you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Stay strong, stay encouraged, be a light and a beacon for someone else. Everyone's seen, you know, many people are going through something. Somebody's got to be the light, somebody's got to be the beacon on the hill. May that be you today. So seek light, seek love so that you can be light and love for someone else. Be that. Be all that you were meant to be. Know your passion. Learn your passion. Meditate if you don't know it. Go within. Find out what your passion is. You were here for a reason such as this. Tap in and live your passion ever so brilliantly. Be the best, dynamic, incredible, supernatural, wonderful, dynamic. Oh, be all that you can be. They can't stop you. Can, can't stop, won't stop, never could stop. Because you were meant to be for this time. And just to know, this is your season. Walk in it. Nothing can stop you. Absolutely nada. Nothing can stop you. I love you. Stay strong. Stay empowered. I'm M. Chavez. I appreciate everything about you. Take care. Oh, and thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. I love you too. Ciao.